Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at from Scratch. And first off, if you are from a Commonwealth country, happy Victoria Day. If you are from Canada, happy May 2 for A. And if you're from any other country, hey, have a good Monday. But what we got today is a new humble bundle of interest to game developers. When I say new, I got a bit of a warning here because this exact bundle has basically already run about a year ago. So we're going to be careful that we don't accidentally buy the same damn thing twice. But what we're looking at here today is the Learn You Some Python bundle from No Starch Press. This is a humble bundle, a collection of things, in this case ebooks around a common theme, in this case Python books by No Starch Press. Uh, they're available in a number of different formats. The way this works is I always pick them up and buy them to let you know what you'll be getting in this bundle. This time, I'm making an exception. I am not buying this bundle and you will see why in just a few minutes. So basically, if you have no interest in the Python programming language, there is nothing here for you. But if you are interested in Python, there is a good opportunity to get books here. Basically, it boils down to if there is a single book on this list that looks worthwhile to you, it makes the entire bundle worthwhile. Uh, with all Humble bundles, you decide how your money is allocated. You can have it go to the charity, to the publisher, uh, to Humble, or if you so choose, and thanks if you do, to help support Game from Scratch, you buy your bundles in tiers. You buy a dollar value tier, higher dollar value, you get all the lower value tiers. In this particular case, at the $1 uh, US tier or the $1.50 Canadian tier, you get four books. You get Teach Your Kids to Code, uh, you get invent your own computer games with Python, you get black hat Python and gray hat Python. So we're actually nice thing here is you're actually learning how to make games. Um, and how to use Python. Now, Python as a language, it, it's kind of a mixed bag. They, they had a long time, the slow adoption, because there was a kind of a civil war between the 2.x and the 3.x version. That's been pretty much resolved now, but the damage was kind of done. So Python in the world of game development isn't used that, that much. It's used for uh, the Panda game engine, Pi game, Piglet, um, it was used for scripting in a couple of games like Civilizations 4 and 5. I believe EVE Online was made using stackless Python, uh, but it's not used a ton in that regard, but it is used an absolute load in build systems. Uh, so uh, almost every major game development house, you're probably going to find at least one Python programmer there. And also it's used really heavily in the world of TDs, which is technical directors in the world of computer graphics. All computer graphics programs seem to have an interface that is Python-based. Blender, Maya, I think Max does now, Soft Image did. Uh, it is the lingua franca of programming in the world of 3D, also for machine learning and so on. All right, so that's a little bit more about Python. We're back in here now. I am guessing at the prices now, it's 11.50 Canadian. That's probably about eight bucks US. You get the books Mission, Mission Python. This was another one specifically about game. This is uh, Code, a space adventure game. Uh, we've got Python for Kids, a playful introduction to programming. Uh, cracking codes with Python uh, to building and breaking ciphers. Uh, Python Playground, uh, projects for the curious programmer. Math adventures with Python. Again, learning math is something that all game developers are going to need to do at some point. So this could be a nice gentle introduction. And then we've got the Python Crash Course. That's for learning Python itself, object-oriented based coding, automate the boring stuff with Python. Now, as I mentioned earlier on, probably every major AAA studio probably has a Python programmer on staff. They'll probably be called something like a build engineer. This is a thing. A Python is used a ton in the world of automation. And then Python flashcards. This is PDF only, by the way. We'll get to that in a minute. Serious Python, a black belt advice on deployment, scalability, testing, and more. And then impractical Python projects. And that is pretty much the bundle. Once again, it boils down to it. Look at the books. Look at the versions that are available. So here you see second edition, second edition up here. We, one of the ones that I was talking about earlier on. This one right here, as you can see, is the fourth edition. And generally, it boils down to, once again, a single book on this list piques your interest. It's going to be cheaper than buying the Kindle version on Amazon. It's pretty much the way all of these work. Now, I said right off the hop that I am not going to actually buy this bundle. And normally, like I said, I buy them. I let you know what you're going to get. But what I have instead done, so want to remember yourself, this one is called the learn you some python bundle well if you go to your purchased section and i recommend this if you are a hoarder like me you always log into uh, humble first go to either your library or your purchases search for the topic at hand and you will notice that we have had a book bundle in the past different name humble book bundle python programming by no starch press uh, we've also had a couple for o'reilly um i think this was o'reilly books as well that might have actually been I don't know. Anyways, that wasn't this one. The one that you're interested in to check to see if you already have is the Humble Book Bundle Python Programming by No Starch Press. This ran about a year back, and you're going to see invent your own computer games, cracking codes, doing math, um, 
math adventures with Python, automate the boring stuff, um, the black hat Python, Python for kids. Like literally, this is almost the exact same books. Teach your kids, Mission Python. We head on back over here. Uh, we'll go through the list. So there might be some slightly different variations, uh, but for the most part, you are looking at the exact same bundle as before, just with a different name. So be very careful there. Make sure that you're not uh, getting tagged twice. So check to see if you already have this guy. But while we're here, I can show you a very important thing. So again, before you go anywhere, do check, search yourself for the Python programming by No Starch Press. Basically the same bundle, different name. So uh, you have been warned, hoarders. Uh, but you'll notice here the books come in PDF, EPUB, and Mobi formats for all of the books. Uh, so that does mean that you are covered regardless to what kind of format you work with. Uh, do be aware that that one book, that Python flashcards, is the one exception. This is 101 flashcards. This one is PDF only. So that is the anomaly here. Otherwise, all of these books are available in every format that you could ask for. And that is it. Um, yeah, it's it's definitely a niche bundle in some ways, because if you're not really that into Python, there's not a lot here for you. Python is a great language. I recommend people use it because it's also that the duct tape of programming languages out there. So it's got a use in that regard. It's big in machine learning these days. Uh, again, heavily used by technical directors in the world of um, computer graphics. So if you want to do something like extend um, Blender's capabilities or functionalities, that can all be done with Python. Uh, but in the world of game development, there's not a lot there. There's the Panda 3D game engine and GDScript, the programming language or the scripting language in uh, the Godot game engine is inspired by Python. So if you do one of these introductory courses in Python, you're going to immediately find yourself knowing what the heck you're doing for GDScript. But really, it's just the syntax. GDScript, you can probably learn in a weekend anyways. So I don't know that you really need a book on that. But Python itself, it's interesting. And I do love Panda though. So if you do check out uh, Python, you want to get into some 3D programming. I've done a couple of videos on Panda. Check that out as well. But do let me know know what you think of this. Also, let me know what you think of basically running the same bundle under two different names. I'm trying to decide if that's a little, little sleazy. I, I'm not 100% certain here, but it's one of those things definitely I want you guys to be aware of what I do in these videos. Make sure you don't buy the same thing twice, and I didn't. So hopefully you don't as well. Let me know what you think. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.